it's really hard to clean this light fixture or change the light bulb. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, this foyer is really big and open. What that ceiling is going to be 15 feet tall? It's actually 18 feet. Wow, it's massive. So what's above the light fixture? It's an unfinished attic. All right, that works. Well, I kind of got that from the email that we were going to go down this path. So I think I got something that'll work out real well for you. Great. All right, let me get it. Okay, Mary Beth, let me show you what this whole contraption is. It's basically an electric light lift. Now the power source that you have up there already in your attic goes right into here, goes through to this motor. Now the motor has this gear system which turns this winch right here. And the winch has this steel cable which is real heavy duty, it'll support 300 pounds. Goes down across this pulley and then it lowers the light fixture. First thing we need to do is remove the box that's up there right now. Now this box is going to replace the box that you have in your ceiling right now. Normally this is where we make the connections from the wire to the light fixture. However, this is when it all changes. This fixture gets mounted to the bottom of this plate. You can see there's a green wire, a white wire, and a black wire. We mount the fixture there so that when you lower the fixture, it breaks the connection. And those connections are those three bands right there. One's your hot, one's your neutral, and one's your ground. So you would lower it down, do what you need to do, and then when you bring it back up electrically, the connections make and the light goes on. And that's it. Wow, that's really cool. But I have two kids, is it safe? Oh, it's very safe. So the cable is locked twice on this roller, so it won't come down on its own. And to control it electrically, they give you this key switch right here, which we would mount upstairs. And it only works with the key, so you lower it down, bring it back up, and you can take the key. Now, even if the kids find the key, it's really slow. I don't think it's going to offer very many hours of entertainment, so that's it. First thing we need to do is get up in the attic and get that light fixture out of there. All right, all right. let's do it. Boy, I wish all attics were this accessible. This is great. Well, I removed the floor right here, which exposes the box for the light fixture that you have down in your foyer. So from here, all we need to do, we can cut this wire right here, cut the box out of the way, and just lower the whole box and the light fixture right down below. Now you were putting a new fixture in? Yes, I okay. bought a new one. That's good, so we can do all that from down below. I don't even have to get down there to set up anything, all right? Perfect. So I'm gonna lower this down to you, and we can disconnect it. Okay. Okay, once you get it, Mary Beth, you can walk it down and put it on the floor. Okay, let me show you where we're at here. So you can see right down there that box that's centered over the old hole where the other light box was. I've mounted this whole structure to the top of the floor, which is really nice and secure. And then I had to bring constant power to this motor wire right here. This comes from a source up here in the attic. The one that says switch, that wire comes directly from the light switch and that turns the light on and off. Okay, that wraps up all the connections. My cover. That hides everything. Let's go downstairs and check it out. Okay, so you see that orange weight right there? That gets removed and the light fixture gets hung from that bracket, but we can lower that and do that all from down below. Nice. All right, now we need to control that up and down movement. This is a great spot for two reasons. First reason is we can see the light fixture. You gotta be able to see the light from where you're controlling it. And the second reason, it's out of your way. You can't see it from down below. So what I've done is gone ahead and fished this low voltage wire down to the wall here. And they give you this wire. It connects up top and then it's got this push connection right here. It only goes in one way. You just push that in like such. And it's low voltage. So the low voltage ring, as we call it, it doesn't have a back in it. So you just do that and put the two screws in it. And that's it. Okay, I'll go get the light fixture. Why don't you go ahead and lower it down? Pretty cool, huh? 
It's a little slow. It is. It's supposed to be slow. They don't want you playing with it, so. Okay, a little bit more. I want this to connect to the fixture. A little bit more. You're almost there. All right, that's good. Nice job. All right, why don't you give me a hand down here? So you want to just keep tension on this right here. Just a little bit pushing down, don't worry about that. And under no circumstances, let it go. All right, I'm going to remove this weight. You got it? Okay. Yep. Now, these wires just need to go up inside, so just keep tension on it. Okay, now you can let it go. You sure? Yeah, go ahead. Good. All right, so once you run up and turn the key, lift it up. When it gets to the top, the light will turn on. Okay, it's looking good. Okay, keep going. After it clicks, it'll turn on. There you go. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, nice taste in light fixtures too. So when you need to work on it, either for changing light bulbs or cleaning it, lower it down to a comfortable area and bring it right back up. And whatever you do, don't let the little ones get a hold of this. Absolutely. Thanks so much for coming. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.